Please. Chairperson Matheson. Here. Vice Chair Putz is excused. Secretary Bailo. Here. Member Chica Crawford. Here. Member Laurent. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, so I skip over the designation of alternate. Uh, approval of agenda by order of the president or chair. No matter will be discussed after 10.30 p.m. unless council board commission votes to continue the meeting. Is there a motion to approve the agenda? Motion to approve the agenda. Second. 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 Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Yes. Okay, number five, approval of uh, minutes. Uh, BZA meeting approval February 1st, 2024. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve uh, the, the meeting for January 1st, 2024. Seconded. Uh, all right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Yeah. Okay. okay, item number six, public comments on non-agenda items only. Um, anybody that, from the public that wishes to come up and speak on non-agenda items only? Come on up, state your name, address, and limit it to three minutes. Seeing nobody from the public, I'll close that. And the next item is action item uh, 7A 136 Axford Dimensional Variance Request. And the way we're going to handle that is we'll have a presentation by the planner of project information, then the presentation of the petitioner, receipt of public comments. Um, Anybody wishing to speak should sign in at the at the door. Then we'll have a recommendation of the planner, and then board deliberation and action. So I will open it to the planner. Uh, thank you, Chair. All right, uh, board members. I hope you had some time to uh, look over this uh, variance. Um, there are two variances on the table um, for you tonight, uh, located at 136 Axford. Uh, this is for the installation of an above ground pool in the rear yard, um, which is subject to the setback regulations um, put forth in the zoning ordinance, stating that above ground pools must meet the uh, setback and dimensional requirements of the uh, primary structure. So the first, uh, Variance being requested tonight is a 15 foot variance from the rear yard setback uh, and as well as a variance from the overall lot coverage requirement uh, in the uh, uh, village single family residential district. <clears throat> uh, compliance with these uh, standards is, uh, is necessary and uh, with the construction of a, of a deck in the backyard recently, uh, which was permitted, this does meet all the um, zoning requirements. The addition of the pool put, kind of puts it over the limit. It extends too far into the backyard and it takes up a little too much room on the lot. So when, um, when determining how to uh, grant a variance or variances, the applicant needs to demonstrate that a practical difficulty exists. And when considering uh, the applicant's motion, or I'm sorry, the applicant's uh, petition, uh, the board should find compliance with all five of the standards before granting a variance or determining a, a practical difficulty. I'm gonna run through those comments, those standards, one by one. Um, I'm on page uh, 23 of the packet. just if you want to follow along. So the first standard when considering a variance is compliance with the ordinance prevents the use of property or is unnecessarily burdensome. The requested use is a pool. Uh, this is an above ground pool, which is a permitted use, uh, permitted accessory use. Uh, the subject site is already non-conforming with respect to the minimum required lot area and lot width for the district. Um, and there was a split that was approved in June of 2003 uh, that created uh, too small of a lot. <laughs> but at the time, uh, it, it got the appropriate approvals to uh, perform the split because it did conform to an originally um, platted area of the village. So this parcel was the result of a split 
um, and at one point did comply with the ordinance. And it's currently occupied by a one-story dwelling um, with the uh, attached uh, single-story two-car garage with the one-story dwelling um, and the recently constructed deck, which is an, a detached accessory structure, is conforming with all the setbacks requirements. Uh, we do not find that the zoning ordinance standards to be unnecessarily burdensome or prevent the use of a property in a conforming way uh, because in-ground pools are allowed to encroach within required rear yard setbacks. So there could be a pool installed that would just have to be in-ground. Um, and the overall lot coverage could be brought into compliance uh, by modifying the deck by approximately 112 square feet. Uh, these alternatives would allow the applicant to maintain compliance with the zoning ordinance. Uh, and the, the fact that this might increase costs is uh, not a legitimate burden preventing the use of the property for a permitted purpose. The second standard is, uh, will the variance provide substantial justice to the applicant um, as well as other property owners in the neighborhood? We found that the approval of the variance would provide substantial justice to the applicant as a pool is a permitted accessory use for single family homes. But we note again that an in-ground pool and a smaller deck could meet the standards of the ordinance. It would not provide justice to the neighborhood to approve a variance uh, at the subject property where a variance for the same may be reasonably denied at another time for a similar property. If the circumstances are shared among nearby property owners, an amendment to the ordinance is more appropriate, and this responsibility falls uh, under the purview of the Planning Commission and the Village Council. The third standard for uh, determining a practical difficulty is whether the variance requested is the minimum possible. These are not the minimum possible, as mentioned under item A. Lot coverage could be brought into compliance with a smaller deck, and an in-ground pool could achieve compliance with setback requirements. The fourth standard, the need for the variance, is due to unique circumstances peculiar to the property. This is typically by virtue of a strangely shaped lot, uh, something that is just far too small to build on, um, but we note that this uh, lot was legally split back in 2003, and the size of the shape and the size and shape of the lot though they are non-conforming with current standards, are not unique when compared to unique properties uh, within the district. There are a lot of lots in the surrounding area um, that look very similar to this uh, in terms of their size and shape. Uh, thus, the circumstances surrounding this request are not unique to the property, uh, but may indicate a self-created need for a variance. Uh, which leads me to my uh, fifth, st the fifth standard for determining a practical difficulty. Uh, is the necessitating variance self-created uh, or not? And we found that the variance is self-created uh, because case law does tell us that a self-created variance includes the actions of both the current property owner and the actions of all previous owners, um, including that uh, fateful lot split in 2003. Uh, the applicant did take affirmative action to construct the deck which at minimum necessi necessitates the need for a variance for lot coverage for this particular pool. Um, the lot split, as we talked about, rendered the lot uh, too uh, shallow in depth. And this was, again, an affirmative action by the previous owner, um, which appears to have been common in this neighborhood. Most of the lots have been split in this way. Uh, so this does create the need for a variance for an above ground pool um, regarding the rear yard setback. So overall, uh, when determining a practical difficulty, uh, the applicant needs to demonstrate that they uh, can achieve all of these standards. And we found that um, compliance with the standards, again, would not be unnecessarily burdensome. Substantial justice uh, could be provided to the applicant, but not necessarily the, the entire neighborhood, uh, because if a similar request comes forward, um, it could be reasonably denied. The variance requests are not the minimum possible, as discussed. Um, the proposal could be brought into compliance by a smaller deck or an in-ground pool. Hey, can you check out a question on that one? And sure. It's almost laughable because it says it's 28.55 feet off. Yep. We have to be at least 25 feet off, so we'd have a, a, a three and a quarter foot deck or three and a half foot deck is what you're telling me to meet the variance. And they couldn't have a pool or anything behind it because basically an above ground pool counts like a deck. 
it's the yeah. same as square footage wise. So really you say they could they could do it with a smaller deck. No, they literally couldn't. You can't even put a chair on a three foot deck. Well, yeah. That, like me, I mean, that's, uh, that's almost laughable. I mean, so. They have a, a permitted uh, detached accessory structure in the deck. But does comply to all of the ordinance standards. It's it's fairly large. It's usable. Um, they've got chairs and tables. So they have to up. detach it from the house to be. Yeah. Yep. Is that what it is? Okay. Yep. Plus, I, I get when I figure it out, I get like 158 square foot deck to be in compliance. Plus 112. So mm -hmm. they have to be 112 less. It still give them 158. Yeah, but you couldn't put it, put it in uh, three and a quarter or three three point five five feet. No, but they no, still have. It. Be, no, but they still have 158 square foot deck. Yeah, for the for the second one, for the lot coverage one, yes, mm -hmm. correct. So, but they still couldn't fit anything in that to meet the 25 feet. I mean, kiddie pool wouldn't even fit in three feet. The kid's kiddie pool is five feet. So, yeah. so he couldn't fit a pool there. Well, so as I mentioned, an in-ground pool uh, can encroach into rear yard setbacks according to the ordinance. Because it's considered concrete? Yeah, because it's, yep, it's Yeah, not. you can concrete the whole thing with a parking lot. But it's not a structure, right? Yeah, it's not a structure. So, Correct. yeah. Currently, there are no uh, ordinance standards preventing that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so is, I the, is the deck there now? Yes. The deck has yeah. been permitted. Yeah. I believe it's been constructed. I'll let the applicant speak to that. The smaller? It's on here. The smaller, smaller deck or both decks? Uh, both decks. The, well, it, yeah. it's one detached structure. Yeah, it's on here. Is that what you consider it, one detached structure? Uh, the, the deck? Yeah, the deck. Yeah. Okay. So you treat it like a shed? Uh, when you say detached structure? Yeah, uh, sort of. Depending on the size of the shed, they may or may not need, you know, a building permit or zoning compliance necessarily. Well, I, I just asked that because a detached structure can be within, what, three feet of a lot line? It doesn't have to have a 25 foot. Correct. 25 foot offset. Yep. So is what it's saying here 25 foot offset wrong? And I only need to come in compliance with the lot coverage? Because she's 10 feet off the lot line. That's why I'm asking. I need clarification. I'm sorry, can you repeat that question? If it's considered a detached structure, yep. would that consider it much like a shed, which only needs compliance to be three feet off of the lot line? Are you asking about the deck or the pool? Both. Uh, swimming pools have their own specific uh, standards uh, when it comes to accessory structures. Um, section uh, 1202, uh, that stipulates the overall requirements. In one moment to find the section for accessory buildings. That's section 1311. F, the swimming pools shall be in compliance with all setback requirements for the principal building, except in-ground swimming pools uh, subject to the requirements of 1311C above. Um, so what that's saying is that above-ground pools need to be in compliance with the setbacks for the principal structure. Okay. Hmm. So the deck would be treated as well. Uh, A deck? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. They could, they could pull the pool all the way to the house and they still wouldn't be able to fit one in. Yeah, so we do have permitted encroachments, um, you know, accessory structures like patios and decks um, can encroach into re required rear setback areas. Mm -hmm. um, and then for other one, other detached accessory structures, that's kind of how we got around it by not mm. affixing it to the home. The original one. Okay. The deck is on its own posts. It's detached. It's uh, So the only question really is the pool. Th that's the matter at hand is, is the pool. Okay. Hmm. Apologies if I didn't set that up to T. So the only one to meet it, they'd have to sink it into the ground. And then Correct. does it have to be concrete? Or, and how far does that, because an above ground pool can be sunk into the ground. I mean, you can sink them halfway into the ground. Does it now pass the ordinance? Uh, or does so it have to be made out of concrete? Raise not more than eight inches above their surrounding grade. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yep. I'm sorry, I have lots of questions. No, okay. so, no problem. Gabe, if they um, took the deck, you know, the deck is 19 by, let's just look at the 19, and then there's the 8 
that goes from the pool to the house. Mm -hmm. If they were to take that eight foot by 11, 11, well, no, eight foot by, I don't know what, there's two chairs in this, in this um, description, there's two chairs and a little coffee table. If they were to take that part of the deck out and move that pool right up against the house there, would that be in compliance? It would be, it would still require a setback um, variance from Even the, though they're from going the rear line. Foot more? Yeah, because uh, the swimming pool needs to comply with the setback requirements for the main house. Uh -huh. If it's above yeah, ground. That's, that's what I would. Oh, okay. Yep. So and then we got too much. It, it would solve the lot coverage issue. Right. And it mm -hmm. would just one of the two. And it would minimize yeah. the setback deviation for okay. the pool. Okay. Hmm. But the decks are already approved. They're already there. They're, they're already there. Yeah. I yeah. cut a hole in the deck and dropped the pool in the middle of it. Yeah, well, it's right here. Okay. If you look at yeah. this rendering, and then you look at the real pool. The mm -hmm. real deck yeah. is right there. Yeah. Okay. That's beautiful. I mean, it looks great. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was what? Gifted to him. Gifted. So we're working on a pool because of the size of the pool. Yeah. Okay. We'll get to this part. We go ahead and finish up, Gage. Oh, uh, no, I, I think I was pretty much finished. Yeah, it was already on the uh, it, our findings of facts uh, uh, stated that not all of the standards for determining a practical difficulty were met. Um, therefore, we had to re recommend denial of the variances. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the board, after issuing a denial, may provide direction to the applicant to initiate a text amendment uh, to the zoning ordinance, which could allow for uh, different lot coverage and setback regulations for swimming pools in different uh, sized lots. Uh, currently, application of swimming pool standards are pretty much uniform across the entire village. Mm -hmm. So it might be pertinent to, to initiate a zoning amendment for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you all set? All, all set. Okay. All right, um, next we'll have the presentation of the petitioner. I'd like to come up and state your name and address and explain your way. Yeah, go ahead and pull that. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, my name is Sue Overmeyer. I am the mother of the occupant at 136 North Axford, and I told him I would attend this on his behalf. He had some other commitments tonight. Um, the hardship is the size of the lot, and we designed the deck to be potentially able to accommodate the pool that was given to him by his sister a couple of years ago. Um, and uh, yeah, we didn't have enough space to work with. Like I said, even if you remove the deck and put it against the house, it would still need a, a variance request. Um, I can't really state there's a hardship. It was going to be you know, a recreational, maybe therapeutic accommodation. And uh, we were just hoping that we would be able to get that covered <laughs> um, and I don't know that we have you know can afford at this stage to consider an in-ground pool we just had that was available to use um, and I can mention too that his sister was going to assist him with setting it up and managing it uh, she's a certified pool operator and she manages an aquatics facility in Grambling Michigan um, so we had all the expertise to help us out with that um, that's all I guess I have to say. And if there are any other questions, I'd be happy to try to address You've them. You've got that high fence goes all the way around? Six foot fence was put in uh, a, year, a year ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, we replaced the existing, the, the former fence that was falling apart and, and raised it higher. Yeah, I do too. I'll put it in. 
Well, thank you for your consideration. Thank you. Thank you. Even if you move it next. Okay. Um, next, we will entertain receipts of public comment. Um, so I will open up for public comment. Seeing this went out else? to everybody. I didn't see a public comment in the background. Nobody wrote anything in. Uh, so uh, any request for variance requires a public hearing. Mm -hmm. um, so there would be a motion to open a public hearing. Motion to close. <laughs> you think a motion to open a public hearing? If not, then I will close it. Okay. Uh, just a motion to open and a motion to close oh. separately. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to open a public hearing. Great. Second. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. All close. All right. Yes. So now we have to make a motion to close, close it. it. I make a motion to close it. I'll second. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. 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 The, uh, it's funny. It's just to add with the, with the new year, correct? Yeah. Okay. All right. Next, we'll have the recommendation, recommendation of planner, which uh, our, our recommendation is denial of both variances, um, unless the, the board can come up with another solution. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Then, all right. Then next will be board can deliberation I, and action. Can I ask another couple? Sure. I got a couple of questions. What, and maybe you know this, maybe you don't know it, but you know, to, if you're, you're facing the property, the house to the left, do they have anything in their backyard? The house? Or either side. Facing, I'm, I'm, facing the property. Come on up to the podium, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, thank you. From the street? Hmm. From the street, left and right. Any? Left, there is a vacant lot. Vacant lot, okay. And right, yeah. there is a house. And do they have anything built on the back of their house? Because in, sometimes we'll look at these and someone else did the same thing, two houses down, and we look at it a little different. I'm not familiar enough with the neighborhood to say whether that has happened. It's not evident on either side of us. That's tight. I will say there are several decks in the neighborhood. Um, just from a Google aerial view, you can kind of see. Um, but I struggle to find any pools. Correct. Same here. Is that right, Gage? Decash garage can go all the way back. Uh, if there's space to accommodate the driveway, uh, theoretically, yeah. If there's a pool there, it doesn't count. Yeah, the, the zoning ordinance has a separate standard for swimming yeah. pools. Yeah. On the one side, it looks like there's a vacant lot. On the other side, it looks like a, a smaller house as well with a one-car garage all the way to the back of the lot. Yeah, they can go, I think, three feet to the rear yeah. and side. Yeah. So that's the house. And you can see the neighbor behind you plays on the post. The vacant lot's there. And then that's the neighbor with the detached garage. Take a look. May I offer another comment? Yes, yes ma'am, go ahead. Um, I also wanted to say that the intent was to erect the pool in early summer and would probably be taking it down in the fall. So we just put it up during the summer months. Oh. <laughs> She's got more time than I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not laughing at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Do, do you want me to make a motion? Yeah, I can't. I can't do support you. I don't know. I don't know. I just think the law is ugly the way it's written because you can build the structure all the way back, but you can't build a pool. 
Pocono. I kind of, yeah, I kind of have Pocono. Not in Pocono. Yeah, I know, exactly. Not in Pocono. What do you mean? Like, you've got a nice concrete But, okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to make a motion that uh, the proposal, um, Article 12, the request for a rear east yard setback of 15 feet, as well as a lot coverage variance requested of 1.9% be denied. I will support that. So, um, there's been a motion in support. Um, all those in favor, signify by aye. In, in support of the denial. In support of the denial, yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. You wanna do a roll call? Yeah, let's do a roll call. Can I roll call? Yeah. Uh, Chair please. Person, Chair, Chairperson Matheson. Yes. Secretary Bailo. No. Member Jacob Crawford? Yes. Member Laurent? No. It's a tie. So that tie. will. Tie. Motion, motion, fail, uh, motion. Yeah, motion fails. Fail. Okay. Okay. Um, motion fails. So, okay. Uh, uh, yes. May I? So, yeah, just because the motion failed doesn't mean the variances have been denied. Um, and we can, if we could, get a motion for each variance oh, that okay. could allow for... Um, Rather than both together. Could be allowed for, it could allow more discussion. Uh, you can modify, you can, yeah. <laughs> so, you want me to do it again then? In each one? And do them independently? Uh, maybe the next, when the next, you know... If you're still discussing, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I don't need any other discussion. Okay. So you would prefer that I split it? Redo the motion and do um, vote on the uh, rear east yard setback independently of the lot coverage request? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> hmm. Then we have to undo the Last motion. I'll do the last. And okay. Okay. So I make a motion to. Already. It's it's a it, it doesn't matter. Because that'll, yeah, that'll go. That'll go that's off the, That's off the table. That's now. off the table. If the yeah. motion did not pass, so you can go ahead and make another motion. Okay. Oh, and doing that allows you to make a dis have a discussion or amend the variance language and come up with a different solution for each. You can approve one, not approve the other. So is it motion, discussion, vote? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I make a motion to deny the rear east yard setback 15 foot variance requested. That will support. Okay, I will open it up for discussion. This is what I'd say is no to. I mean, basically, um, so. The one that I'd say yes to would be the, the variance that the lot covers, so they can make the pool a little bit smaller, but still still allow for the, the variance for the uh, location of the pool. I think they're stuck with the size because the pool was given to them. Yeah, they do. It's not that they can go out and get a smaller pool. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. Okay. We shouldn't be asking for something like that. Mm -hmm. Is there I mean, I, 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 I don't know that much about I like the way this looks. I like their backyard, the way they've done it. I think they've they put up a great fence all the way around it. Um, I, I just feel that it makes sense to do it, and I know what the ordinances are, but if I had something, well, next door has a garage that goes all the way back. Correct. So I have less of an issue with things being closer to the lot line because of the garage next door. Mm -hmm. Agreed. And they put the house right in the middle of the lot to where, it, I mean, Truthfully, you've got wow. almost 25 feet on each side, that's it. So no matter what, you need a variance to put it in. Yeah. And, and, the, and the pictures showing the, the place look fabulous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it would look great with the pool. Yeah. But the variance is the variance. Because it's attractive, because a previous owner had it, put their house where they put their house, 
because the deck is where the deck is, because the pool was gifted and it's a certain size, mm -hmm. the variance is the, I mean, the, the, but when you the zoning is the zoning. I is mean, it self-created? Yes. You know, you yeah, so it's self-created. You think sure. so? Just because where to put the house. I mean, what, if, what if the pool wasn't gifted and they got a small one? Well, it still won't pass. I mean, it'd be here no matter what. Yeah, so the kid, some of the kitty pool, pool. Yeah, yeah. kitty pool would pass. So. Is there any gauge? Is there any ruling on temporary pools? Uh, the ordinance doesn't specify. It says swimming pools. <laughs> um, it does differentiate between above ground and in ground. Okay. So an in ground pool, like we, like we mentioned, would be allowed to encroach. It wouldn't need a setback variance. Because there are, there's above ground pools that stay up. Yep. And there's above ground pools that come down. Sure. But we don't have any language that talks about that at all? There is not. Um, but the board, in acting on any appeal, um, may attach any conditions to its approval you that it finds necessary. Point. Have you ever seen those, what are they, 15 foot round with the blow up and you fill them up with water and they come up about two and a half or three feet and you just have a pump and they, I mean, literally by our ordinance, one of those cheap ones that you buy at uh, Meyer. Who, who, who's gonna, pass if, there, if there's no ordinance, who's going to police that? Yeah, I know. I, I know. Who's going to come out yeah, every yeah. fall and come? No, no, correct. To take that one down and it's got <laughs> pipes and tubes, yeah. It's never coming down. Right. You're right. I mean, so. I, I trust what that she's saying it will come down. I believe that that to be the case. But mm. are you going to set a precedent for all no. these? And, and then somebody's got to go around and police right. people, no, maybe correct. unlike this lady, people who are going to take advantage, mm -hmm. even though she, right. they're complying? We have a motion and support on the table. All those in favor, where do you want another roll? Another roll call. Should be a roll call. Another roll call, please. Chair per Chairperson Matheson. Yes. Secretary Bailo. No. Member Cherokee Crawford. Yes. Member Laurent. No. The motion ties. So <laughs> motion ties. So fails. motion fails. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to make a motion to deny the request for variance for lot coverage of 1.95%. I will support any discussion. <coughs> no, sir. All right, no discussion. Then we have a motion and support on the table. I'll um, roll call, please. Chairperson Matheson. Yes. Secretary Bailo. No. Member Taker Crawford. Yes. Member Laurent. No. Motion ties, and so it fails. Okay. Then that would conclude public hearing. All right, next item. Uh, no. Well, so uh, you have to make a motion. Uh, the motion, I believe, has to succeed to approve, deny, uh, approve with conditions, or table. There has to be some sort of resolution. Uh, Is there a chance to table and go back and look at that possibility of uh, uh, seasonal pools uh, for for an ordinance amendment. Yeah, absolutely. I, I in um, I would recommend <clears throat> still denying the variance before um, initiating any sort of zoning amendment. Well, it's so far off that it's never going to fit into. Hmm. But what they're doing is nice, and it looks great. Sure. And, and I understand that if we might be setting a precedent somewhere else, but there's a lots of different things that happen in the village that people don't even come to us. Absolutely. And they just do it. But you do have your ordinance and maintaining the integrity I know. of it. I know. Yeah. I'm just trying to help make a project that looks really good to me. 
Yeah. yeah. Um, and I know all the, I know, and I, I agree with you. Totally agree with you. I mean, most people, you know, over these years and years, almost everything that has come to us has been nice. Yeah. I mean, I feel bad when these things get well, denied, I, but they I, have been very, very nice. And this, and, this, <laughs> and this isn't even one that we could send back to no. look because there's no relooking. I don't no even see any, it. like, take the deck down and put the pool in. Well, that's, right. that's not a, that's not a buy -in. No. She could build a garage there and put the pool inside. You actually could. <laughs> By the ordinance, you actually could. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm sorry. Back to your. If, if, if they were both denied now separately. Well, so what, what is it that we now? Only the motion to yeah. deny was, uh, is what failed. Mm -hmm. You have to have a, a motion to uh, deny that carries, a motion to approve that carries, or a, a motion to table that carries. I thought we did make. We made the motion to yeah, deny. Yeah, right. And then we made the motion to deny, and they were both denied. Because mm -hmm. they were tied two two. No, the motion failed to deny. Two to two. That's a fa that's a failed motion. Oh, right. So now it's we're back at square one. So you didn't successfully deny. And you didn't successfully approve. The okay. motion itself yeah. was not successful. I mean, it doesn't matter whether we table the motion or not. I mean, like you said, it's you, gonna be you literally can't fit the pool in the ordinance, period. Yeah. So, right. so are you suggesting someone needs to change? We aren't going to table it, that someone needs to change their vote? Oh, uh, yes. You would have to get some sort of majority I resolution on this. So even though a tie is a fail, it's not really a fail. It's just a failing, it's just a tie. It's just a failing of the motion. You you uh, you could table them so we have five people. That's true. Till we get rain. That is within your power. I would say that's probably the best. And I may help or may not help, but. It'll make a clear decision. Yeah. We want to. I'd make a motion to to table this yeah. until we've got our full board of five. I'll second that. I'm yeah. opposed to that. I mean, we're here. Yeah. Cool. You know, but I guess no one's going to change their mind. But I'm opposed to tabling it. I guess we should have a discussion because yeah. I don't understand your votes. I mean, I can appreciate the mm -hmm. aesthetics and the desire. But I, I mean, if it's he, not in compliance, it's not in compliance. He made a half, it can't be in compliance. Half hearted joke it is the truth that you can put up a garage and put the pool inside of it or a greenhouse and put the pool inside of it, but you can't have a pool. I, I don't understand how they can't be treated the same as it's not part of the structure. I really think the law needs to be changed in this case, that's, absolutely, because that's, it's, it makes zero sense to me. But if someone wants to pursue that, that's really not for tonight. Right. No, no. That's, that's not, not for this. That's not, well, what's, that's not what's before us. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, it's I mean, like the only way to get a decision is to get another vote. Or put this, this puts her back at least another month, and that's, I'm sure they wanted to put it in for Memorial Weekend. I mean, I would. Yeah, but I would be. Would there be any consideration that it'd be a seasonal pool, oh, in other words? Asked, there was nothing on no. the books about seasonal. Oh, you couldn't say. No way to because it's just assemble, no disassemble. Way to that, no way to. And I know the ordinance said something like you had if it had anything that exceeded like 20 some inches in depth, it had to go through the uh, is there any opportunity? You said that your daughter in law, my daughter, oh, pardon me, your daughter is a pool, um, installation yeah. installer. Does, can you put an in ground pool in? No, she's not an installer, she she is a pool operator. She manages the pools, maintains pools. Um, 
and it's a relatively small pool when you're talking about the size. It's, it's nine feet across, and that's the nine feet that we're dealing with to accommodate for the setback. We just thought we'd go through the process to see if we could get it approved so we could go ahead and do it legitimately, you know, and that's what we would do. But Well, we did talk about earlier about pulling some of the deck, that, placing some of the deck with pool to correct. abide by the lot coverage issue, that, correct? Yeah, that would take care of lot coverage. And the setback would also be less than requested, correct? If it was pushed up against the house. Yeah. That would. Well, but, but the pool setback is less than the deck currently is. Am I right? They're, no, I'm they're, sorry, take, take away yes, it is. No, but I'm currently. Yeah, nine plus. If, 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 if the deck is there. It's about two feet less. And the pool is less than what we currently have for the deck. Mm -hmm. They're regulated under different standards. I got it. I know that. Mm -hmm. it, it, but that doesn't always make it. You know, you, you, you try to help get through these things. Sure. And if, and if we went by the rules all the time, there wouldn't be this board. No. Well, <laughs> there wouldn't I think, be. I think the exact opposite. <laughs> Just a yes or if there wasn't a board, there'd be no rules. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you know, the next person is going to come along and want to put something else up. I mean, I, when you have ordinances and variances and the setbacks and stuff, not only do are we obligated, I think, to enforce them, but I think the people in the village and neighbors and neighborhoods ex expect that, expect us to abide by the ordinances. If there aren't the things that the planner I, I, looks at to I say, with, I am with you, I'm not It's not you. their own doing, and there's a lot, of, we've, we've, we've approved things where it wasn't within their. Many times. Yeah. But, but usually it's. Just this is not little. that. This is big. Exactly. Exactly. So if, if, if maybe there was willing to give up a lot of deck space to put the pool there and have less, no lot coverage issue and less of a variance. Well, if they had less of a variance, we would probably look very favorable on it as we have in other situations. I would agree with that. So maybe, maybe this gets tabled and they go back and take a look and see if there's anything they can do. I don't know if there is. Could you already mention on those pool kits, does it have to be 20 feet long? Can yeah, it I, I fit don't know enough that about a pool kit. Foot, can it be? Footprint of that other deck? You know. I mean, yeah. at least that in the, I mean, right now it's sticking out to the one side. It's it would fill in. Yeah, yeah. Fill fill in space. Space. yeah. And I don't know if you're willing to give up deck. I mean, it's we're just talking here. Deck or pool. The deck was just finished in early April, so I don't see us disassembling the Trex deck and put up a temporary pool. So that's probably no. Oh, well, what's so funny is I was looking at that because it's 11 by 13, it wouldn't fit. But right, that's what I was thinking. If it could just could you drop it right on the deck? <laughs> right, and then make the deck different. No, I was thinking the same thing, but the numbers just, I mean, I was no, the math just, just doesn't add up. Yeah, it doesn't add up. Correct. Because I was thinking the very same thing. Oh, I really think we should table it. Too. Table it for what, though? For at least the fifth vote. Yeah, for at least the fifth vote. You do have a motion on the table right now to table it until full board. So either either vote on the motion or, or, some, or you withdraw the motion. For it to be tabled, does everybody have to agree? I mean, it, you take a vote on that. Majority? Okay. Well, we, have Are you? Yeah, we have a motion to table in support. Roll call, please. Chairperson Matheson. Yes. Secretary Bala. Yes. Member Chayka Crawford. No. Member Laurent. Yes. Motion passes the table. Okay. 
So, 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 Gabe, can they come to you with, with um, ideas that they can have to reduce this footprint, and you help them, or what? What do we got to do? Uh, yes, uh, I'm available on Tuesdays to to talk things through, and um, also I want. We approved this deck back in, I don't know what it was, February or March, and it was said at the time that they couldn't put this pool in without some sort of variance, and obviously variances aren't guaranteed. Did, did we, this board, approve it? No, no, no. That was an administrative approval. That was an, that was an administrative approval. It was a, it was a administrative separate, 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 separate permit. Okay. Um, understanding kind of the board's interpretation of the ordinance and how we want to go about these things. Mm -hmm. But you told them at the time with the deck that there was an issue with wanting to put a pool there? Correct. So they already knew that? Correct. But they already have the pool because it's sitting in the garage. I couldn't deny a deck. You couldn't deny a deck? Okay. Couldn't deny the deck. Something else really goofy good. in that they were told they couldn't have a pool and um <laughs> We were told that we had to have a variance and we had a pool comp or a deck company design the deck mm -hmm. with the intent of trying to accommodate the pool. Mm -hmm. And we said the deck is company is not building the pool or anything like that. We'll pursue the variance independent mm -hmm. of having the deck constructed. But you had the pool at the time of the deck construction? Yes, we had a pool that's been sitting in the garage for two years now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> not even put up the deck and put up the pool that it wouldn't fit the ordinance. It's hilarious. But okay. So table until we got uh, a fifth person. So to vote on, if you guys can figure out any other things to make that pool smaller, please work with Gage, <laughs> because uh, <laughs> maybe he's got some you know, ideas, magic wand. Yeah, I know it doesn't. Fit. So. The, the, I this was he this was my magic that. wand. <laughs> <laughs> Take out a couple of rungs and stretch the rubber a little more. Uh, again, I, I, I probably am speaking. I mean, you still have some stuff on your agenda, but mm -hmm. you know. I, I did recommend, had you denied the variances, to provide direction to the applicant to pursue a text amendment to get some different standards in place on the books for swimming pools, whether they're temporary, whether they're permanent, um, different lot size requirements, things like that. Right now it's just a blanket. No. If, if it's above ground pool, above 24 inches, it has to comply with the house. So, so your point of view is we should test this and see what happens. Is that correct or no? That that this was this is the test. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You okay. said above twenty four inches. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's what it's con considered a swimming pool by definition. But uh, I thought earlier we said it was eight. That is a, a detached accessory structure. Um, Because it's, so an above ground pool, mm -hmm. uh, more than eight inches, mm -hmm. it has to comply with the swimming pool regulations. Um, uh, an accessory structure, something that's lower than eight inches, you know, below ground or, you know, a shallow deck, uh, that can encroach into the rear yard. Mm -hmm. The ordinance says uh, swimming pools, um, it specifically points to the requirement of allowing a lower structure to encroach. Um, can, I, can I ask you a question and maybe you know the answer or don't know the answer? Yeah. If someone was building on the lake. Yes. The setback is 25 on the lake, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. So someone would need a variance to put a pool in between there. 
It's, let's it, say the house is set back 25 feet. Yep. If they're gonna put, they need a variance, right? Yep, if it's above ground. Okay. I have permitted um, uh, low decks. I've permitted in-ground pools in the Lake District um, that are oh, in- Oh, that's right, in-ground is different. Is in-ground different from? So, so swimming pools shall be in compliance with the setback requirements for the principal building, except in-ground swimming pools, which are subject to the requirements of these other standards, which say that structures that are eight inches or lower can encroach into the rear yard. Can. 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 Can, can answer my question. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So do we want to... Next thing is item eight, which is the next regular meeting is on June 6, 2024. And item nine is board member comments. Anybody have comments? Well, it was a nice rousing meeting today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, it's good to see we can have these kind of conversations. Right. That's, that's the best part. And not come to any consensus. Right. What would be a turnaround? This is for Gabe. What's the turnaround time for if we were to offer something for the planning commission? Um, so, zoning or you're talking about a zoning ordinance amendment? Yeah. That has to be initiated by either the planning commission staff or a member of the public. Um, seeing how this is playing out, I would advocate to the Planning Commission, probably not at their next meeting, but the next one, so in June, uh, that we could pursue a zoning ordinance amendment for swimming pools. All right. You could do that. Please. For all swimming pools, not just this situation? Well, it would have to be all and figure it out. Well, it, it, it You're seems... talking about a zoning? change and then a resubmission for this situation or not even a resubmission if it's in compliance correct correct uh, establishing some some flexibility or different standards for different types of pools on different types of lots and you need that right i, I mean need, i think we need it but you need to have that it's it seems like this issue is not isolated, it's shared by many okay, cool. in the neighborhood. Okay. It could provide substantial justice to initiate this type of amendment. Okay. We'd have to work out and see what that ends up looking like. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Sure. Um, would the applicant, mm -hmm. so then, I'm not sure how to say this. Are they going to come to the next meeting and then we have five and we vote again? Or is the applicant willing to wait and see if the zoning changes and then they're in compliance? I mean, that would be, I mean, that would be at their discretion. You have tabled the, mo the, the appeal. Um, so it doesn't automatically go to our next June 6th meeting. Uh, what was the motion? Waiting for a fifth. I mean, I'm not sure where we sit right here now. It wasn't a specific date. No, no, full board. It was full board. Um, uh, so uh, that is whenever you have your full full board um, ready for a meeting. Um, you could consider it at your next meeting if all five of you are here. I suppose. <laughs> Unless you have different answers. For which, I would which, I would which wouldn't happen it's because, not travel because, that fast. because you're at least a couple of months away from getting answers. Exactly. Sure. Or at least two. Exactly. Yeah, changing a zoning and right. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a it's a few months out from getting the ordinance changed. So it looks easy to be over with. Uh, well, <laughs> that's another question. If we did deny it today and the ordinance did get updated, I mean, would they have to wait a year to come back? 
No, because they'd be in compliance. There's nothing to, there's no request for variance. So then they just put it up. Yeah, if the zoning, or that's if the law does change, mm -hmm. and it changes to the tune of them being in compliance, they don't have to do anything. Okay. They can just do their thing and they're in compliance. Correct? Yeah. Yep. What, it would be my suggestion, even though I'm, I'm not in favor mm -hmm. of it, as you know, mm -hmm. that you would come back in June, that we table it till June, with the possibility that there is five of us and the vote is different, while this zoning thing works its slow months mm -hmm. wait. Yeah. Yeah. Because the applicant wouldn't have to pay an additional fee if we table it for June, correct? That's correct. Uh, Does the applicant have to do anything now to get us to have it on the June agenda? No, this they've already made the application to you and you have tabled the application. I would recommend amending your last motion. I was just motion. gonna say we have to make a motion, don't we? Uh, yeah, to, to to not just table it but to to <coughs> specify a date. Yeah. Well, I mean that's fair. I mean we yeah, I mean that's the right thing to do. Okay. Well, I'd like to make a motion to amend our previous motion to actually put a date on it. Okay. So I'd like to put a date of June 6th. June 6th. Yes? Yep. Those are, 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 are we, correct me if I'm wrong, Mary, are we keeping the five board, five board members, or is it just going to be just the June 6th? Because those are two different, um, <laughs> there, there may be four, four of you only attending on June 6th. Could be three. Yeah. Could be. So the current motion is a full board being present, but then you amended it to go to the June 6th. But do you want it just June 6th if you have a, you know, you have a quorum, yeah, or are we talking board. June 6th with a full five? Okay, we only have three. Yes. One way or the other, it wouldn't be tied. Well, three's not a quorum, though, right? Yes. Three is a quorum. Oh, three is a quorum. But everyone would have to vote in the affirmative for anything to pass. Right. You, can't, oh. you, can't, you can't have a no vote. You can't have a two one. Well, it's up to you guys. Push it to June 6th, please. Just okay. June 6th. Just June 6th. Just June 6th no okay. Why. Do I have a second? Second. Yeah, all those in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Motion carries. So, do you. So, so you'll, yeah, it's ma'am. Okay. So amended. June sixth. I'm just putting it in my calendar. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Okay. All right. Our next item is item ten, which is adjournment. We have a motion for motion adjourn. to adjourn. Second. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Meetings adjourned.